it's me Liz Ewell from Old Stables Crafts thank you very much for joining me today for what is not a live Thursday craft and chat so there won't be much chat but uh, some of you may know that I am involved in a flower festival it's my first flower festival and the build is today and when I say build we're likely to be doing it for more than 12 hours it's one of those things that I looked at and thought that'll be exciting and then other things got booked around it and suddenly I've got no time left this week but it's fine so today I am going to show you the um, uh, craft kits that I have sent to my August um, shoppers somewhat later than I had intended I am really sorry um, but I was in New Orleans for the back end of August which did kind of slow things down a bit so I apologize um, they are going to be with you this week I hope post permitting um, so uh, just in case you don't know who I am I am Liz Ewell from Old Stables Crafts I'm a stamping up demonstrator based in the UK working across the UK France Germany Austria and the Netherlands and very soon Belgium and the Republic of Ireland 4th of October we will be going live in Belgium and the Republic of Ireland I am so excited can't contain myself anyway let me show you what I've been up to with the craft kits so I've, I've got two as ever so I send these to anyone who shops with me and either uses the host code or um, spends £150 or more without using the host code you get this regardless of the size of the order you will get this if you've used the host code or your order is over £150 so I've got always it's always two projects normally it's a car uh, two cards but this month I am also looking at the what do we call them I want to say cracker cracker and treat box dies um, it's really just a cracker but hey uh, and we've got all these sentiment strips a couple of tags stars hearts um, and they're just gorgeous they go very nicely on a piece of six by six card uh, with a little room to spare which is always good um, I've included in the pack for the uh, for August the paper that comes from the celebrate everything host paper which is in the july june july to december mini catalog um, a couple of tags one in polished pink and one in white there's a piece of the iridescent trim and a piece of white baker's twine um, so that you can make them up and add the tags so I'm just going to very quickly show you how to put these together uh, you can actually make these bigger if you want purely by adding extra panels and by bigger I mean fatter uh, this is a six panel cracker which actually means you end up with five um, but it will be very easy to add extra panels on just add in extra pieces um, and just stick them in and then there's also this little bit at the end here that is scored so the scoring is is part of the die you don't have to score so most of it you score with the outside outside this piece you score so that the inside goes outside and it will it will sort itself out in a minute um, and then we've got to score here or rather fold here there are score lines so that needs to be folded I do like a burnish with a bone folder so I'm getting really excited at the moment not only am I got all these exciting things on I'm also very very close to earning the incentive trip I mean I can smell the sea it's that close um, so if you have any orders that you wish to put in to help me get over the line I would be so delighted um, actually that goes the other way I should have folded that the other way sorry it's fine 
Right, so to put this together, I'm going to use liquid adhesive because I like the slippage. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to one of these panels. And also to these bits. I'm not going to add masses to these extended bits because it's going to get fiddly otherwise. Now you would need at some point to put your gift in your cracker otherwise it's not going to get there. Um, and then you just fold it so that you get one of the panels overlapping with the one that you've got adhesive on. And this is where, as I say, I like the slippage that liquid glue gives you. Because if that was a permanent tape adhesive, that would be fairly difficult to, to then move if it was wrong. Uh, so that's all beautifully stuck together. Then this piece of iridescent twine, I'm going to just add a little bit at one end. I've left you quite, I've given you quite a lot in your kit because otherwise it gets a bit tricky. So add that and let's do a nice reef knot or flat knot depending on how you look at it. And then trim that down and then before I do the other end, A, I would put my prize or present in and B, I'm going to add my tags, which I would have stamped. I'm not stamping them because obviously I can't include stamped images. I'm just going to layer them up, tie the ends together just in a simple knot like that and then you've got the pink lying on top of the white which I just thought was rather pretty and then I'm going to add my other piece of iridescent and you want your knots to line up but possibly not where the seam is so you want your knots to be on the same side of your box or cracker so I'm going to just tie a half knot, then I'm going to slip my tag in and then that will get caught when I tie the other half of the knot. And it's as simple as that. Now obviously if you want to make this not Christmassy um, at the moment, all you have to do is use the other side. So you can use just the pink, it's still snowy but it's it's not you know in your face christmas where i think sweets and gingerbread men possibly are quite in your face christmas so it's as simple as that so that's one of the kits that i've included the other one again it's you've got your bits in a bag and in this i've got the apple dies no what do we call them I had them just here just now. Can I find them? Are they buried? Yes, probably. Apple blossom dies. I'm not going to open them up because there are lots of them and they're loose. Um, so in your pack, you'll have iridescent pearls, which are gorgeous. And then you'll have four flowers, four flower centers, which are in Blushing Bride. The flowers are in just basic white and lots of pear pizzazz leaves so basically you've got one of each of the die cuts apart of the standalone die cuts plus two of the branches you've also got let's pop those under my face for the moment you've also got a piece of um this is pool party this is from the host paper set from the annual catalogue and then this is from the a wash with beauty designer series paper and this is blushing bride this is pool party i've got a reasonable size margin around the outside um so an eighth of an inch and then i'm just going to add one to t'other with some seal You've also got a card base and an envelope. I'm saying you on the basis that the people that are watching are the people that's got, that have got the kits. This is what I've included in the kit this month. 
So that's there. I'm not going to add that to the card yet. I like to leave that until fairly near the end, just in case anything goes horribly wrong. So I'm going to start by adding my um, branches and I'm going to have them sort of, sort of join together. Now I've not added sticky sheet to the back. Um, I could have done, but it was getting really thin um, and the sticky was, the, the cover sheet was, on some of them was lifting off, uh, which meant they would have stuck to the other dies, which really wasn't something I wanted to send out. So let's have that there. I'll just press that down and then this one I'm going to have coming, oh, where from? Uh, I might add it. Oh, I'll add it in there, I think. Now, obviously, you can put yours wherever you want, but I quite like the idea of having it as an extension rather than two separate branches. Uh, this is soft suede, which is a nice kind of woody colour. Actually, I could just add it there, couldn't I? Cover it with a a flower. Right, now we need to make up our flowers, so let's pop that to one side. There are two small and two large flowers, and two small and two large flower centres. Now if you want, you can add a little bit of Blushing Bride with a sponge dauber. Just don't have your sponge dauber too well inked, you just want a little hint, and you can add that behind the blossom. And I'm just adding a little dot of adhesive, possibly a little too much of a dot of adhesive, and add my centres. Now the petals are five petals and the centres are six, so don't expect them to line up perfectly, just drop them down and it, they'll be fine. Oops. That. And then I'm going to pop one of the pearls in the centre of each of those flowers. So I've included two larger iridescent pearls and two smaller iridescent pearls um, on the theory that you'll put the large on the large flowers and the small on the small flowers. Obviously if you don't want to put them on at all that is absolutely fine. Right so those are my flowers, I can get rid of that little piece of backing. And You may want to just make your flowers a little more shaped and you can just do that with your fingers, um, just sort of bend them up in the middle of the petal and then let them droop down again in the nicer sense of the word droop, uh, but it just gives them a little more shape. So they're like that rather than like that. So just a little, a little more shape to them. So let's bring in my centre. I'm going to pop one of the small flowers over the join of the branch. And I'm just using my fingernail to push up underneath that flower. You can use your bone folder if you're more comfortable doing that. And then a little dab of glue in the centre. And pop that over the join. So now we've got one continuous branch. I'm going, to, I'm going to add my flowers and then add my leaves. I'm only adding glue to the very centre of the flowers, so if I want to tuck leaves underneath, I can. Hmm, let's that one just there. And you may end up with too many leaves, but I wanted to include lots um, so that you 
could include lots if you wished. And this one I'm going to actually add, whoops, that one moved. Uh, this one I'm going to add quite a way away from the branch, but there is a branch under there. So, you know, I know that it could be attached, possibly. So let's just add that one back down. And then just shape this one. And I'll be adding some leaves around that so it doesn't look quite so lost in the middle. Now, you can add a sentiment. There's plenty of room on the card down here to add a sentiment if you wish. I'm going to ignore that because it's going to be my husband saying, what time are we going to have supper? And um, I'm going to phone him in a minute to answer, to tell him. So I'm not actually being rude, but I want to get this film done. So I'm just going to add these. And they can, again, I'm shaping them a little as I go. And you can also add them to the end of your branch. Some more under there. I should say that there is a different ringtone if it's inside the house. So it's not me ignoring a customer, it's me ignoring my husband. Which is probably as bad, but you know. there and we've got three more leaves left I'm going to use all of them Oop, let's do it that way have to do is add this to the front of my card base and it's done. Let's have one there as well. So there is my little apple blossom. Furnish my card base. As I say, if you want to add a sentiment, you can do so very easily. Um, there's plenty of space. So let's just press that down. So there we go. So these are the two projects that my lovely customers are going to be getting for shopping with me in August. So I hope you found that helpful. Obviously, those of you who get the kit, um, I would love for you to make those up. Maybe share them in Old Staples Crafty Hangout, which is on the Facebook. Uh, it's a Facebook group. There's a link to that in the description bar below. So you can um, just click on that link and anyone can join. So thank you very much indeed. Let me just say goodbye properly as... I often say. Um, so thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Uh, I will be back to normal next week. There will be a, a video on Saturday, hopefully, um, and then it will be back to normal next week. Uh, the Queen's funeral is on Monday, so I should be back doing normal things on Tuesday. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got any questions or comments, please add to those in the description bar below. A thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you don't already subscribe, if you'd like to subscribe for in the bottom right hand corner, hit that alert bell so that if I go randomly live, which occasionally I do, you'll get an alert to let you know that I have gone live. Thank you very much indeed. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.